Snake River cutthroat trout are well deserving of their reputation as a beautiful fish that are somewhat easy to catch. And it's that sort of status that lures anglers to one of the more popular areas of Wyoming to catch them, Flat Creek, just outside of Jackson. Managed as a wild trophy fishery, meaning there's no need to stock here, anglers here can catch plenty of cuts ranging from 12 to 18 inches with a good measure of 20-plus inch fish as well. Jackson Game and Fish biologist Diana Miller. There are a few brown trout and a few brook trout as well, but you know the majority of fish we catch in here are Snake River cutthroat. We also have native whitefish and some native suckers as well. And generally, this stretch of the creek is our trophy fishery, so we're catching big fish. We tend to not catch like juvenile um, or young of year fish through this stretch in particular. This is sort of the adult holding water, and so we're catching fish anywhere from you know 12 to 23-ish inches today. Keeping that caliber of fishing going requires the Wyoming Game and Fish Department to conduct regular checkups on Flat Creek to make sure all is in good order. Electrofishing puts a small dose of electricity in the water to stun the fish so that the fisheries technician can scoop them up for weighing and measuring. So how are things looking? It looks good. You know, it's hard to know exactly until we get home and run the numbers and um, really look at what our fish per mile is. But um, but we're catching a lot of fish. We've already made three stops today and we're, I don't know, maybe halfway done. So we've got a lot of water left to cover and we've, we've seen a lot of big fish. So um, I'm going to say that we're either holding steady with population numbers or we might be slightly above last year, but we'll see once we run the numbers. Another measure taken is to make sure habitat here stays optimal. Game and Fish and multiple partners have spent considerable resources on habitat improvements on Flat Creek over the years to offer the fish here more meanders, undercut banks, cover, and deep pools as they await anglers' flies. The window for fly anglers here is all too brief. The area opens August 1st and closes October 31st. It's flies only, and while the limit is six trout in possession, only one can be a cutthroat, and all cutthroat less than 20 inches must be returned to the water immediately. It's definitely another of Wyoming's destination fishing areas. Put it on your calendar for next year. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.